Is the Loch Ness Monster mystery now solved? Historian's new photo approved by sightings register. Well, most of us have heard about the Loch Ness Monster in the Lake of Scotland, a grainy image of a bird-like creature with a four-foot-long neck led a top military historian to announce the mystery of the Loch Ness Monster, Loch Ness Monster, and it's finally been solved. This is by Express UK Carly Reed. Today's article, The Tales of Loch Ness Monster, dumbfounded scientists for years. In the article, you'll find something like a, an image of something very weird. Again, the resolution is very bad, very low. It's an image by Ricky D. Phillips on Facebook. And for the life of me, I have no idea what it looks like. It looks like a, a duck duck head. Anyway, uh, Ricky Phillips was in the middle of conducting a tour of the famous Scottish loch of Nessie's Loch when the beast with the long neck matching the description of the mystical mysterious creature emerged out of the cold water and with the quick thinking Phillips stopped the tour, fished out his mobile to take the astonishing picture that he said shows a creature had a long neck the size of a rugby ball, the head of a, uh, the size of a rugby ball. Phillips is 39 and he wrote warfare books such as The First Casualty, told the sun his image puts an end to the years old debate of whether Loch Ness Monster exists or not. He believes it does. He says it was a great creature, almost like a bird, in a gray stretch of water. Its neck was about three to four feet long, and his head was the size of a rugby ball and a ridge across its eyes. I was baffled, he said. He said, I know dinosaurs came from birds and that many had hard lips, almost like a beak, but this is simply what I saw. It seems to have almost a frill on its neck. It is very odd. And this is what, uh, this is the day before he took the snap on Wednesday last week. He said he heard a strange noise and he stood at the edge of the loch in Fort Augustus. Now, he also claims that he in the past has swum with, sail, with whales and dolphins, and he has seen hundreds of seals, but the sounds that this thing made sounded like nothing he had ever heard, he says. Phillips added that the following day he went to the river Oich, where, when he claimed he saw the mythical creature, he calls it a, a magnificent creature, the official Loch Ness Monster Sightings Register, which logged 11 sightings of the beast this year alone, accepted the image provided by Phillips. Gary Campbell, the recorder and keeper of the register, said Phillips is an experienced tour guide and historian who knows the area well, and this gives it extra credibility. Campbell also said sightings are now at a level that were being recorded in the 1990s, and he believes more visitors to the highlands of Scotland may have something to do with it. Well, why is that? Is it because they bother the Ness monster? Or is it because... I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. It's a little bit complicated. Tales of Loch Ness, the monster of Scotland, have dumbfounded scientists for years after the famous black and white image of it surfaced in 1934, taken by Robert Kenneth Wilson, a London gynecologist, by the way, who refused to have his name associated with it, leading the picture to be dubbed the surgeon's photograph. A lot of people say that it could be a hoax. I have no idea. Anyway, it does look like what uh, Phillips took a picture of. And you can see the actual picture on the Express UK link I'll leave below for you. I didn't put it on the video because I don't want to infringe on his copyrights. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever 
I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.